Good morning, St. Bart's folks. Today, my sermon is about Abraham, known to be the father of three major religions. A number of years ago, I thought about writing a book, and the title would be, if I were to write it, which I haven't, Great Stinkers of the Bible. i got to remember to take this mask off. Great Stinkers of the Bible. Because, even starting with the patriarchs, all of the characters in the Bible, in one way or another, are flawed. Although the patriarchs were flawed, but faithful. Um, so, I want to talk about Abraham. Despite his frailty, despite his old age, the Bible says he was 99 when God gave him his commission. Despite Sarah's barrenness, Abraham believed God's promises. I want to read to you from Eugene Peterson's The Message. This is what St. Paul has to say in praising Abraham as part of today's lessons. Abraham didn't focus on his own impotence and say, it's hopeless. This hundred-year-old body could never father a child. Nor did he survey Sarah's decades of infertility and give up. He didn't tiptoe around God's promise, asking cautiously skeptical questions. He plunged into the promise and came up strong, ready for God, sure that God would make good on what he had said. That's why it is said, Abraham was declared fit before God by trusting God to set him right. But it's not just Abraham, it's also us. The same thing gets said about us when we embrace and believe the one who brought Jesus to life when the conditions were equally hopeless. The sacrifices Jesus made for us fit for God set us right with God. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, conviction of things not seen. That's the scripture for today. I'll talk a little bit about myself regarding faith. I consider myself very fortunate. We've had no big tragedies in our lives. Our family is doing well, has done well. I know some of my contemporaries had drug problems with their children or other kinds of tragedies in their lives. We've been able to avoid those. And I feel like God has been taking care of us, protecting us all along. We've had a comfortable life. Our faith was not severely tested in many ways that I can recall. But there's one memory that I want to talk to you about, my worst memory that tested my faith the most. That was Christmas of 1969. I had just been married in the spring of that year and got sent overseas six weeks after we were married. I was in Thailand. It was Christmas Eve. I was a Roman Catholic at the time, and I was attending midnight mass in a little chapel. The chapel happened to be right next to the flight line. So I'm sitting there listening to the priest talking about the Prince of Peace. And just as he said those words, the roar of four F-4 fighter, jet, fighter bombers taking off one after the other completely drowned out his voice than anything else. And I was struck with the juxtaposition of talking about the Prince of Peace and the fact that I had been responsible for working on those aircraft, maintaining the autopilot system, making it possible for the pilots to drop bombs and kill people. It was just a, a cognitive dis dissonance that I was experiencing. And I got to thinking about how uh, my faith was really tested by that experience. It took me a while to come back from that. So that's myself. The situation that we find ourselves in, again, I've talked about this for the last three weeks, the times are sorely testing our corporate faith. Like Hamlet said when he realized that uh, Claudius had murdered his father, he said, the time is out of joint. There's chaos. But there's hope on the horizon, folks. The vaccines are, are, uh, are, are uh, accelerating. The, the rate of vaccination is accelerating. There's the possibility of some legislation that will bail us out financially, that will help our economy, that will help all these struggling businesses that are about to go under without some kind of help. So the good news for today is that faith is alive and God has not abandoned us. Like Abraham, 
uh, we need to have that strong faith, persistent faith, even though we are flawed also, but we can be flawed but faithful like Abraham was.